Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Jintian, and welcome back to the boss. It is Act 10. When we last left off, we really had a hard time getting Sam. Well, at least this time I'm not going to be going to every single door. No point, I've already been here. Anything here? No. Just checking to see if there's anything new there. I'm going through this particular area really fast now that I'm not going to every single door, but I wanted to see if there was content! And there was. So we're heading off to the blue door this time, I guess. Not Stanley and his co-workers. Wait a minute, no, this really can't be right. I mean, I know we're going off the cuff as it is, what with the renewed stage after the freedom ending, but... We really cannot go anywhere if those doors aren't open. I'm going to have to look into this. Hold on. Oh, good. More test subjects. What's that? Who are you? No need to play dumb, employee 207. They ought to know what you've been up to this entire time. But I'm the narrator! That wasn't even a nice try. You don't sound anything like the narrator. More like a sound-alike who's auditioning for Saturday Night Live. Come on now, that was uncalled for. But I really must thank you. You've brought me more test subjects, like I've asked for. So I suppose you're actually good at something. You might want to introduce yourself, though. Seeing as you're going to be working with them more, it's best for them to get to know the real you. I... Yeah, you, you know what? She's right. I'm not actually the narrator. Surprise. Shocking, I know. And you're not actually getting out of here. GLaDOS and I have teamed up to find and test subjects for the future of Aperture Science. Or the present. Seeing as we currently have no one to run through these tests, we're not too picky. Despite your obvious lack of intelligence, we are required to use what we have. So congratulations. You're all at the top of your group. By default. She really needs to work on her motivational speeches. Anyway, I don't think we should spend too long out here. While there is no discernible passage of time here in the digital world, we do need to get a move on. The average human lifespan is a pathetically short 70 years or so. Even shorter in Billy's case. Well, I mean, he does respawn, so I would think that actually makes his lifespan a lot longer. Oh, I like her. She shows potential. Actual potential. Not the kind that leaves you high and dry, having been overrun by a wave of disappointment. That being the case, I have exactly the teams that we need. We only have two functional tests at the moment, but I see now how to divide you up perfectly. Wait a minute, hold on. You... Did you just separate us for using a loading screen? Rude! I suppose we could record how long it takes you to go insane listening to this song. But that would be needlessly cruel. It would be more humane to throw you in the incinerator just outside the door. I've never tested anyone before. This should be fun. Okay, who even are you? I've never seen an employee 207 in any of my games as far as I can remember. You have seen me. But I guess you don't remember. Hey, you've killed me, though. Wait a minute, I've killed you? Then what game are you from? <sighs> I guess it's kind of hard to remember someone who's just one in a crowd. Party hard? All I was doing was partying innocently, and then you murdered me. Or at least, you did when you finally noticed me. Okay, I'm sorry about that, but I mean, that is kind of the point of the game. Yeah, yeah it is. And yes, I know I'm supposed to die. It's a small roll, but it's something. And all I wanted was for my roll to go off without a hitch. But you almost didn't notice me in the tutorial level. It's a small role that I wanted to do right, and you almost messed it up. So you're taking this all out on, out on me because I almost didn't kill you? Well, not fulfilling your game role, 
or at least having a near useless experience was kind of a blow to me, you know? I ended up leaving my game to find one where I'd be more appreciated. That sounds like going turbo. Oh, I get that reference. I can't remember what the, what the movie was called, but I recognize that reference. Who? <laughs> Never mind, I guess it doesn't matter. Point is, I went to work for Aperture Science, met a man named Stanley, boring guy. Long story short, I got fired for something I didn't even do. But I managed to lure the narrator away with a cookie and took over his recording booth, so there's that at least. Wait, you lured the narrator with a cookie? Never underestimate the power of baked goods around video game characters, Jack. <clears throat> yes, well, as exciting as all this exposition and reveal is, I'm sure you're going to want to get to the test. This room wasn't designed to last, you know. Wait, what? Oh, I'm sorry. I suppose where you come from, most rooms are permanent. This particular room was designed to be disposable, left standing only for about 30 minutes after its creation. We at Aperture figured that with the amount of test subjects we were going through, sanitation was an issue. It was more cost-effective to create and destroy holding chambers when necessary, instead of sanitizing the old ones. Did I ever push buttons for that? Perhaps. So, Stanley worked for Aperture? Ooh boy, that explains a lot. Anyway, seeing as this room was created about 29 minutes ago, you should probably head through the portal. Let's save first. And off I go. Welcome to the Friction Inhibition Gel Test. Or the Fig Test. As some presumed clever scientists have called it. Let me guess. Lots of fruit puns came out of that, right? That's too easy. Those jokes are all low-hanging fruit. Cliff Smedley, I will be sure to make a note in your file. I heard our narrator friend, I, I don't know what else to call him, because 207 is kind of odd, laugh. I heard so heard him laugh. Oh boy, what did I do wrong? Are jokes not allowed? Oh, you aren't in trouble. I was just going to note that you believed you were clever. It's honestly kind of charming whenever the test subjects assume that they have the necessary wit to complete the tests. But we'll see how well that wit serves you here. The cube you are pushing around is the Aperture Science Weighted Companion Cube. This cube has been coated with the complementary fig agent, hence why you two won't slide on the floor, and will accompany you on your journey through this puzzle, serving as your beloved and faithful companion. See to it that you do not break its fragile, cute heart. I wasn't planning to, but okay. No, Jack, you see, this is how they get you. She's trying to emotionally manipulate and believe me, and you will feel exactly as the way she wants you during this test. By the way, I should inform you that due to emotional complications, the Aperture Science Weighted Companion Cube cannot come in contact with the Glacier White Testing Surface Squares. It has also updated its online status. And it says that you are now officially its best friends. Don't let her manipulate you, Jack! I will be your beloved and faithful companion through this test! Platonically. My heart belongs to Terran. Aw, your girlfriend? Well, that's kind of a strong word. She's a girl, and she's my friend, and I really like her, but she's not my girlfriend. I see. Well, maybe someday. Provided she hasn't overlooked him for another handsome specimen. Then again, I'm honestly surprised that anyone would find either of you two viable candidates for coupleship. I will point out there's very long list of people who would love to date Jack. But Gab is currently dating him and she looks very happy with him. Just from what I can see anyway. Just saying. I'm gonna go ahead and ignore that. Yep, just going to ignore that. Oh, I can move now? So how... where am I supposed to be getting that? Ah, there. Well, might as well get an idea of how this works. I see, I see! Okay.
Not too complicated. Congratulations. It seems you defied the odds and completed this puzzle. Your audience of one was on the edge of his seat the entire time. Hmm? What's that? Listen, you can even hear his voice trembling from the adrenaline. Oh no, I was just running. I had to check up on the others since you're over here. He's delirious with happiness for you. Okay, now what? Push the button nearest the door, and you may leave. Though leaving comes at the price of sacrificing one of your party members. Say what? She means, push the button and drop the cube into the incinerator. I would say that terseness and elegance were never so delicately woven together as in your statement just now. But they weren't. And it's not nice to lie. Hey. But he is right. In order to continue, you will need to sacrifice the Aperture Science Weighted Companion Cube. Done, done. Let's just quit. After everything you've done for us, little cube, I want to really miss you. Please don't hold it against us. Clip, you just said earlier this is her manipulating how we feel. Wah! Oh, right, oh right. Uh, whoops. You two really are morons, aren't you? To be fair, Jack hasn't done anything that's stupid right now. Call us what you like. <laughs> we still finished your puzzle. Irrefutably so. Well then, proceed to the next room. I'll be with you shortly, seeing as the other team may be about to finish their puzzle. What happens after that? More testing. Try not to let the newness and excitement wear off just yet. It makes the years more bearable. Years? Earlier. I'm not seeing a way out. And that's our first priority right now. I know, but Jack and Cliff, I'm really worried about them. I am too, but you'd think they'd be a little more resilient. I mean, do we have to find those two jokers, really? And why do we keep getting separated? Are you really that disappointed to be stuck with me? Are you kidding? Out of everyone I could have been stuck with, it was you, the least annoying person. Thanks? In all honesty, it really is a relief. Ah, uh, you're awake. Time to do some testing, I suppose. Unless you would like to call out sick. I would not recommend this. However, in the event that you do forfeit on account of illness, we have a pharmaceutical test we are running. So far, the known side effects have included but are not limited to muscular pain and weakness, headache, loss of vision, loss of hearing, loss of vision and hearing, minor internal bleeding, major internal hemorrhaging, Growth of a third nostril, palpitations, constipation, aneurysms, Ebola, swine flu, Ebola and swine flu, and in 43% of the cases, instantaneous yet painless death. Any volunteers? I could name a handful of things on that list I've experienced before. <laughs> oh dear. Pulse. Good. Then I think you'll like what I have in store for you just outside that portal. Why don't you take a look? Okay. Save. And off we go. Admittedly, these turrets are older models, so they are only capable of sight in a straight line in front of them. They're kind of stupid that way. But with the cuts to funding, we've been digging through the old warehouses. At least the bullets are every bit as lethal. I hope they never change. Lethal? Don't worry, I think player agency has us both covered here. Player agency? It'd take a while to explain without the rulebook. Just know that you're safe from ultimately dying here. Okay. I have to go supervise the other test subjects. Their vitals indicate that they appear to be waking up and will need someone to conduct their side of the experiments. Employee 207 will be over shortly. He's such a... useful tool. Tool? That sounds ominous. Does it? I suppose I'm just happy to have so many test subjects again. It makes me feel... a little more pleasant inside. 
Anyway, I'll be back once you finish the test. A little more pleasant? I'd like to see the scale for that. Did anything about that strike odd as you as odd there, Billy? All of it! I mean, it sounded like there were more test sub subjects than just us. You don't suppose she has other subscribers, do you? I don't think so. Aside from you and Cliff, I think everyone else who got uploaded was accounted for. Well, that's a relief. You must have amazing connections here in Wireland to know something like that. I don't know how you do all of it. Yeah, we're amazing like that. Let's just get these things turned off and get back to the others. Hello? Oh, that's right. They talk. Hmm. I am not touching that. We would be so dead. Okay, so I have to go this way. Ah. I'm on fire. Oh dear. Goodbye. GLaDOS was talking about more sub test subjects Searching. is still bothering me. I don't know who it could be though. She's crafty, I'll give her that. So it could be any number of people. It could be even one of the other game characters. Who else fits that description though? Sorry I'm late. I'm a little lost with the cameras. I, mean, I knew Amateur was big, but man. That's a lot of cameras. Then again, Jenny, I think our short list just got shorter. What was that? Nothing. We'll tell you later. Oh. Okay, well, don't wait for too long. You got me all curious now. Sentry mode activated. Okay, you win. Nap time. Okay. Oh. It burns. On the subject of things still bothering me, the subscribers again? No, it's it's you actually about Jack. Here. I don't blame Jack? You. What about Jack? Well, it could just be my imagination, but something strikes me as weird about him. Weird? Well, Jack's usually weird, but weird how exactly? I don't know. He just... I mean... He doesn't feel like Jack. Well, I mean, when you put it that way... You're still standing there? there? You just pushed the button. Can we get a move on? I know GLaDOS likes to rub people's lifespans in their faces to say that they have all that time to complete the tests, but I'd really like to do some other stuff with my time, if you don't mind. Are you still there? This is not good. Critical error. Oh. Ow, 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 ow. Shutting down. So, so, so sure, sir. Hello. How did you get started working with Glados? You're honestly curious about that? Yes, I find characters' backstories to be fascinating. Especially when there's a lot of very detailed lore. Oh, that sucks. Um, actually, it wasn't too long ago that I started working for her. Not too much, really. She tried running me through the tests, but apparently my scores were so dis uh, different, in the higher sense of the word, that she promoted me to her right-hand man. And now she's got me looking for test subjects and helping with giving the tests and stuff. It's amazing how hard it isn't once you get to work. I guess the job descriptions just make it sound way more difficult than it actually is. Like BSing a school paper. Assuming you went to school. Billy, please. Anyway, that's pretty fascinating. From humble beginnings to upper echelons, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, it's, it's kind of fun supervising. Like, you two are my first, but I can definitely say that I'd love to keep helping her like this. And with the way things are going, Sentry you two activated. might end up being my permanent test subjects. Imagine the hours we'll spend together. One puzzle at a time, man. Jeez. Ow, 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 ow. I don't hate you. Could you come over here? Okay. Please stop. Good night. Oh, goody. We're almost done. Oh, 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 oh. No hard I'm back. feelings. Congratulations. You have shown exceptional intelligence in completing this test. 
How well did they do, Employee 207? Oh, very well. And thank you for letting me oversee this. It was quite an experience. You seem to be responding as hypothesized. Very good. I'm sorry, what was that? Did I say something potentially damaging? No, it was nothing. Anyway, being so short-staffed, it falls upon me to redirect the other two to the next puzzle. Keep an eye on them, Employee 207. I'll be back to set up the next test for them afterwards. I think our suspicions were just covered with a huge confirm stamp. Seems like it. Seems like what? Please do not be alarmed when you tell this, but we think GLaDOS might be, well, maybe using you as a test subject? What? No, that, that's just ridiculous. Why would she? When we were talking earlier, you did mention being a test subject for her before. Uh, yeah, that was after she found me hiding in the recording booth. Just now? That wasn't a lot of time for testing. No. No, I was just pretending to be the narrator when you showed up. She asked me to do that. Okay, but th please think about it. She may have never stopped using you as a tough subject even after giving you your promotion. Do you think she'd really? Come on, this is GLaDOS we're talking about. She totally would. Her talk about hypothesized behavior really didn't sound like it was directed at us. It seemed more like you. And it seems like she's been implying that us, Jack, and Cliff aren't the only test subjects she has. Do you know any others? No. You four are the only ones she has. You know what? Screw this. Go through the door. I'll meet up with you guys later. Well, shall we? Let's. Oh, there's a Sam right there. Nice. Jack! Cliff! You guys are okay? We were so worried! So were we. Our puzzle was dangerous. You can say that again. Dangerous? Ours wasn't. We had to slide a cube around. The poor thing had to die to save us. That's all? They gave us turrets. Turrets? Billy, you should have been a gentleman and protected her by her being a bullet sponge. Come on, Jack. I wasn't going to let anything happen to her. I'm not heartless. Seriously, you of all people should know that. You've seen it, what, hundreds of times now? Anyway, we're fine. Yes, the turrets were older models, easier to do with. That's good, I'd say ours were more dangerous to our sanity, ha ha ha. Okay, I don't want to be a downer after the mood got lightened, but we're just still definitely in a ton of danger. What do we do now then? We rebel. Rebel against GLaDOS? Yes, rebel against GLaDOS. She's had me wrapped around her digital fingers since the day she found me. And we're putting a stop to it right here and right now. Right here? Okay, well, maybe not right here. We'll have to get to where she actually is. Now, I've done a little digging and I found something useful in the files. It's a path for you guys to follow and it should take you right out of here. You all get going. I'll deal with GLaDOS myself. Are you sure? Be careful out there. Yeah, she's tricky. Thanks, 207. Let's get going. Can I save? Now that we're together again, let's get out of here. Thank goodness. And this is gonna have to be Curtain Call. If you enjoyed the show, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified whenever you upload a new- whenever I upload a new video. Ooh. Until then, that's it for me. Bye-bye!